Guys, welcome to my video of Tokyo Group in book. So this time I'm gonna do the rainbow section of um the enemy would be Kuroiwa. So this is my team. Most of them are the blue unit, which is um the opposite unit of the strange unit, the red unit, yeah. So face Kaneki, Haise, and the Black Ripper, um, have Kakuja, and face Akira and Mutsuki. Oh yeah, there's one thing I want to talk about is the territory point. I see, I've been seeing many people ask, like how to get more point during the war period. So here's my advice. Um. Send out all of your depatch character to the depatching missions. Make sure after they return from the mission and you send them out again over and over until the war is over. Yeah, right. Because most of the point is come from the depatch missions. And also you can work on those quests on the map at the same time. So we will get more and faster. You will get the point more and faster. Um. So the point is come from um the patch uh, rainbows. Um and the que the the quest on the map also straight. It's all stuff combined together. So you can get the point like you can actually you can get the point everywhere from the map from only on the map like not not the story not from the story <laughs> and <clears throat> yeah also back to back to here so okay that ripper start on his first skill five hundred thousand per hit that's so crazy yeah that's so crazy level five and here's I want to talk about the that Kaneki. You see the blue unit? That's face Kaneki. Um so here's a character able to awake. Um it's pretty good for the uh, free to to play players. Because you don't need to max him out like a hundred percent mastery. Af because after the character awake, there's no level. There's no level on their skill. So it's there's no much there's not many not much different between um the ma max between the 100% mastery or s or and zero doesn't matter doesn't matter that's a little bit different but not not huge not huge difference and I've been seeing many people reroll for the face Arima and the non killing aura. Actually, that doesn't worth it. I'm not saying both of them weak. It's just because they they are not worth it. I mean, if you if you have a lot of gems and like you pay for it, uh, you are not free to play player. You can you can go for them. But if you are free to play players, you just focus on some characters able to awake because because those character not able to awake. You really need to max them out. You need to, re you really need to get them 100% mastery because there's huge different, huge different damage between level one and level five. It's kind of like I don't know what you say, but it just, it it just doesn't worth it, you know. Yeah, you can see on this. Yeah, there's no level on his skill. Yeah. So either either zero mastery, mastery or one hundred mastery. So there's no level. There's no level. Okay, so back to here. Black Ripper skill. Yeah, five hundred thousand. That's so crazy. And also Mutsuki, she is a really good assistant ca assist character here. Um, but I only got her zero percent mastery level one, which is, um, but yeah, but she's still good. Um, 
like her skill is like um the whole team it's increasing the chance to god like 30% or 20% I think it's 20% right 20% but it's not bad you know okay um so is he gonna kill my Kaneki? <laughs> oh yeah my Kaneki is dying uh lost more than half of the HP okay yeah and debuff her skill is gonna debuff like 0.5 it's not bad seriously yeah Look at this Kaneki skills, yeah. Right. 200,000 per hit between 100,000 to 200,000. Yo, he's a monster, man. Yeah, this guy is a monster. Yeah, you, he definitely destroying the balance of the game. <laughs> Oh yeah, one thing, one more thing, and I know like um, the Golo players, um, it's it's waiting for the next banner. Um, like, f um, you guys, you guys thinking the the, the uh, face Amon, right? Face Amon will be the next banner. So if it is the if it's, go for him, go for face Amon. He's really good. He's really good damage. Good, good at damage. In and also he got the. He got he got high HP. He got high HP, almost the highest. I think he's the face Amon is the highest highest HP character on the game. Yeah, so go go for him. Yeah, that's what I suggest you guys to get. Not festival Ar Arima, okay. So okay, the last second turn, he's going to wait. Yeah, right. The Arata Ama. Okay, I feel yeah. Okay, um, Kaneki. Okay, um, he he just killed it. Uh, he just killed him. Oh, and one more thing. Um, there's a Kakuja, Kanik, uh, Kakuja form half Kakuja form Kaneki. Um, I know many global players expect he his he he to come, but actually he is not that good either. Oh. Um, the reason that I why I put him on this team is because he he got a lot of AP. That's the reason. But actually, he is not that good. He is not good at damage. The only thing that he good at is the break damage, which is um the DUR minus seven. But since I got Black Ripper, um his skill is DUR minus ten, so I don't need him anymore. I just because he got a lot of, lot of AP, that's why he's here. <laughs> I'm not saying he's he's weak, but um, he's just not 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 the top tiers. Okay, the last 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 skill. Okay, so. I don't think he's gonna he can kill kill one of them. Okay, so yeah, right. Yeah, we're gonna make it. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. So only die one person on this battle, which is cool. And let's see how many that how much damage how many damage I got. Okay, total 100 million. And Black Rapper got 70 million. He's crazy. Okay, and I guess it. I got 40 weapon tickets. Which is not bad. Thank you guys for watching my video. And I hope you. I hope seeing you guys soon. See you guys on my next video. Thank you so much. Bye.